New this noon, shocking images of a bloody crime scene are headlining the Raven Abaroa trial. Abaroa is charged in the stabbing death of his pregnant wife, Janet, back in April 2005. It was five years before police arrested him and another three years before the case made it to trial. Tamara Gibbs is following the trial. She joins us live with an update. Tamara. Yeah, good afternoon, John and Barbara. This was expected to be an emotional trial, partly because you have two families that are on opposite sides of this case, and that was obvious today in court as they played that shocking video. Uh, this morning, the state played the gruesome crime scene video in court. Janet Abaroa's family was allowed to leave the courtroom, but Raven Abaroa's family remained at his side while he kept his head down and looked away from the screen where images of his wife's lifeless body played out for the jury. Now, the first and only witness we've heard from today, a former crime scene investigator with the defense alleging early on that the investigation was botched from the beginning. The critical evidence was ignored. The state is painstakingly going over every detail of that crime scene, including a bloody shoe print that came up in testimony. Take a listen. It was traced back to EMS personnel. And who told you this? I'm sorry, I don't remember that. Well, it's unclear if that footprint they're talking about is the one the defense has uh, raised questions about. We'll see during cross later this afternoon. Now, Raven Abaroa maintains his innocence, saying he was at a soccer game when his wife was stabbed to death back in April 2005. And the state continues to make its case for a troubled marriage that somehow ended in murder. For now, we're live in Durham. I'm Tamara Gibbs, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.